what we believe about the Bible is based on what we believe about its source. We have essentially a dual authorship. So it's true to say that Paul wrote Romans. It's equally true to say that God wrote Romans. The Bible subjects itself to historical verification. It puts itself at risk of inquiry. He says, we saw this. We didn't make up a story to make you feel better. We're not just giving you, you know, the spirit of Christmas or the inspiration of Easter. And that sets the Bible apart from almost everything else in the ancient world and its religious pantheon of gods and goddesses. The textual richness of what is found in the New Testament is really very remarkable. It's utterly unique from documentation from the ancient world. We don't go to the Bible wanting to judge the scriptures. We go to the Bible with a sense of submission, wanting to hear what the living God has to say to us, and that's crucial. Nobody ever encounters God and says, that was boring and irrelevant. Well, when people say that about the Bible, it just says to me, they've not encountered the God of the Bible. Let's be clear. If crucifixion was the end of Jesus' story, there is really no good historical explanation for why we have the Gospels or the rest of the New Testament at all. There had to be a reversal. Do you think if Jesus really rose from the dead, that would have had an impact on the people that saw him? after he had resurrected? Yeah. They would have remembered that till their grave. The Church of Jesus Christ always faces a tremendous temptation, and that is to deviate from the Word of God. In many quarters, the Church has denied, questioned the faith. Our faith is rooted in history, and, and consequently, we need to use the evidence and never be afraid of it.